function. Functions, functions. That is our concept of today. What are functions? How do things function? Well, let's think about some things that function well together. I got two things that function well together. I got peanut butter and jelly. Mmm, a delicious treat. Let's try something else that functions well together. Let's do cereal and milk. Oh my goodness, my favorite breakfast, favorite breakfast. Now, let's talk about it. Peanut butter and jelly go so great together. Would you put some mayonnaise on your peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Probably not. Milk, cereal, they function well together. Would you put some ketchup in there? Probably not, because it throws off the relationship. The reason they work so well together is because peanut butter and jelly have a relationship. Cereal and milk have a relationship. They work ex extremely well together. So now, let's take it a step further. And let's talk about relationships, because that is what truly makes a function what it is, or helps us determine what a function is. So, I got my man here, Mr. Smurf. He's all alone, by himself. He has no one to be in a relationship. He's like a little ex, an unknown thing, just roaming around. But then, he finds the love of his life, and now they have a nice little relationship, and they go off into the sunset. It's working because I have one male for my one woman. But now, what would happen if Mr. Smurf decided, hey, I want to have my cake and eat it too? Hmm, is that going to work? No. Some of you may have seen the show Cheetahs before. It never works. So, what are we learning from this? That in order to have a healthy relationship, uh -uh, it would just be that one Smurf, that male, and that one woman. And everything works the way it's supposed to. But when you try to add too many things, they can't function. Now can they? This is Mr. Hudson, signing off.